We're here playing Orda Chess on podchess.org. I made the game. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, one side has the normal pieces, and the other side has the Mongolian Horde pieces. Not to be confused with Horde Chess. Go ahead and click that game if you see it. Nice. So I have the, the Horde pieces. So they move around knight's movement types. So uh, this is my king. He can't castle. It's a yurt. Um, it moves similar to a king, but it moves like a silver general. Good shogi. So if you're seeing this on screen, yes. not orthogonally sideways or backwards. Um... These archers move like knights, but they attack like bishops. These helmets move and attack as knights and king pieces. And these lance slash triangle looking pieces, um, they move like knights, but attack as rooks. And then you can only promote to a king or uh, this piece. And also another rule that I found out last time was... Let's see, wherever the rule is. Called Catmate. If you get to the other side with your king, you win. So, in addition... Is that, uh, is that as, as the horde or as white? Uh, either, I think. An additional method to victory is available oh, called oh, oh. Camp, Campmate. Not Catmate, sorry. Campmate. Campmate is achieved by, fo by moving one's king into the final rank without moving into check. Oh, no. <laughs> this attacks as a bishop.
That was weird. Definitely didn't think you'd capture it. Like. It's a knight and a king. The more you know, I suppose. There goes the game, folks. <laughs> How many games did you play with Alma? Well, uh, we played two earlier today. No, again, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. We'll play more games. Um, so yeah, this is my... Yeah. I think my third time playing. I played... Yeah, once is black and once is white. Um... I'll chime in with what I was telling Travis earlier. Um, that this isn't true for this game. This game is just me being fucking terrible at th all things chess related. Uh, I think that this game is, that Orda specifically is extremely, I, th I think it's favors the horde over white. Like I, th I think unless you're unless you're. Um, it's definitely. I mean, we can look at some like, computer analysis. I mean, it it'll be different because I mean it's our game, of course. But uh, it, right, I, I was thinking about like how it could be. Like through the stages of the game, it could be different for the players because like it could be that. I don't know. During the the start of the game, it's it's better for the horde. Uh, but for the right, right, right. end of the game, it could be better if you, you know, still have a queen or rooks or something. I don't know. So they're different pieces, different pieces. Yeah, but I think, I think that the way, I think that the way that the horde is set up, it makes it a lot easier to gain an advantage early on. Mm hmm So I'd be I'd be interested to see more. Um, I'd be interested to see more games of this with amongst like evenly matched players. Yeah, and just computers and whatnot. Just to just to see how it, how it pans out. I wonder how they do against the horde bonds. I guess the pawns being up a row would be kind of wouldn't really help, or wouldn't really like. Yeah, that's true. Is there a variant of a uh, horde where it's the Mongolian horde versus all the pawns? No, that's what I was uh, saying. I want to see that. Mike and I tried a uh, Berlina horde with the Berlina pawns one time. Oh. We only did one game, and I. How was that? It was interesting. Um... I mean, I, we only played one game, and I played as the pieces. And I, I mean, it's definitely more difficult. There's, I mean, the bishops are more powerful, and the rooks are less. The rooks are less powerful. Um, yeah. Cool. So that was order, Thanks. order chess. We'll be playing more games. Um, yeah, there'll be a playlist of order games and whatnot. The rules and links below. Thanks for watching, anyone. Uh, they, they do have a, quite a lot of uh, things in the rules here. Um, as well as, so there's movement. Uh, so far, the piece evaluation. Oh, yeah, so there's early and late uh, piece evaluations. So let's see. Interesting. The horse archer gets more powerful as the game goes on, and so does the bishop. Absolutely. Uh, I guess all these get more powerful as the game go on. Maybe that's just because the board opens up. So is it is it all pieces all pieces on both sides basically? Yeah. Uh, pawns go the same. The queen goes the same, but the yurt 
the queen goes up, but the yurt stays the same. The bishop goes up about 100 at the end of the game. And the same. All of them go about 100 near the end Which of the game. Which one? The bishop, the knight, oh, wow. and the rook, as well as the horse archer and the keshig, move up 100 at the end of the game. And the lancer moves up 200. So, and there's some strategy, a computer line. I never castled. Um, it says self castle to start. So, yeah. Place the rules and links below. Pie chess is a great place to play it. We're also going to end up playing Order Chess 960, I believe, on V Chess. So, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the future.